Section 12 of Dramatized Passages from the Old Testament. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Story of Saul from 1 Samuel chapters 8 to 11, King James Version. Narration by Beth Thomas. Samuel, read by Michael Landy. Saul, read by Larry Wilson. Saul's Uncle, read by Bethesda Lily. Servant, read by Esther Simonides. Nahash, read by Catherine. Men of Yabesh, read by Thomas Peter. Maidens, read by Lydia. Kish, read by David Purdy. God, read by David Olson. Elders, read by Dolly Pinoroles. Children of Belial, read by Leanne Yao. And it came to pass, when Samuel was old, that he made his sons judges over Israel. Now the name of his firstborn was Joel, and the name of his second Abiah. They were judges in Beersheba. And his sons walked not in his ways, but turned aside after lucre, and took bribes and perverted judgment. Then all the elders of Israel gathered themselves together, and came to Samuel unto Ramah, and said unto him, Behold, thou art old, and thy sons walk not in thy ways. Now make us a king to judge us like all the nations. But the thing displeased Samuel when they said, Give us a king to judge us. And Samuel prayed unto the Lord, and the Lord said unto Samuel, Hearken unto the voice of the people in all that they say unto thee. For they have not rejected thee, but they have rejected me, that I should not reign over them, according to all the works which they have done since the day that I brought them up out of Egypt, even unto this day, wherewith they have forsaken me, and served other gods. So do they also unto thee. Now therefore hearken unto their voice, howbeit yet protest solemnly unto them, and shew them the manner of the king that shall reign over them. And Samuel told all the words of the Lord unto the people that asked of him a king. And he said, This will be the manner of the king that shall reign over you. He will take your sons, and appoint them for himself, for his chariots, and to be his horsemen, and some shall run before his chariots. And he will appoint him captains over thousands, and captains over fifties, and will set them to ear his ground, and to reap his harvest, and to make his instruments of war, and instruments of his chariots. And he will take your daughters to be confectionaries, and to be cooks, and to be bakers. And he will take your fields, and your vineyards, and your oliveyards, even the best of them, and give them to his servants. And he will take the tenth of your seed, and of your vineyards, and give to his officers, and to his servants. And he will take your men's servants, and your maid servants, and your goodliest young men, and your asses, and put them to his work. He will take the tenth of your sheep, and ye shall be his servants, and ye shall cry out in that day because of your king, which ye shall have chosen you. And the Lord will not hear you in that day. Nevertheless, the people refused to obey the voice of Samuel, and they said, Nay, but we will have a king over us, that we also may be like all the nations, and that our king may judge us, and go out before us, and fight our battles. And Samuel heard all the words of the people, and he rehearsed them in the ears of the Lord. And the Lord said to Samuel, Hearken unto their voice, and make them a king. And Samuel said unto the men of Israel, Go every man unto his city. Now there was a man of Benjamin, whose name was Kish, the son of Abiel, the son of Zeror, the son of Bechorath, the son of Aphiah, a Benjaminite, a mighty man of power. And he had a son whose name was Saul, a choice young man and a goodly. And there was not among the children of Israel a goodlier person than he. From his shoulders and upward he was higher than any of the people. And the asses of Kish, Saul's father, were lost. And Kish said to Saul, his son, Take now one of the servants with thee, and arise, go seek the asses. And he passed through Mount Ephraim, and passed through the land of Shalisha, but they found them not. Then they passed through the land of Shalim, and there they were not. And he passed through the land of the Benjaminites, but they found them not. And when they were come to the land of Zuf, Saul said to his servant that was with him, Come and let us return, lest my father leave caring for the asses, and take thought for us. 
And he said unto him, Behold, now there is in this city a man of God, and he is an honourable man. All that he saith cometh surely to pass. Now, let us go thither. Peradventure he can show us our way that we should go. Then said Saul to his servant, But behold, if we go, what shall we bring the man? For the bread is spent in our vessels, and there is not a present to bring to the man of God. What have we? And the servant answered Saul again, and said, Behold, I have here at hand the fourth part of a shekel of silver. That will I give to the man of God, to tell us our way. Before time in Israel, when a man went to inquire of God, thus he spake, Come, and let us go to the seer, for he that is now called a prophet was before time called a seer. Then said Saul to his servant, Well said, come, let us go. So they went unto the city where the man of God was and as they went up the hill to the city they found young maidens going out to draw water and said unto them is the seer here and they answered them and said he is behold he is before you make haste now for he came to-day to the city for there is a sacrifice of the people to-day in the high place as soon as ye be come into the city ye shall straightway find him before he go up to the high place to eat for the people will not eat until he come because he doth bless the sacrifice and afterwards they eat that be bidden now therefore get you up, for about this time ye shall find him. And they went up into the city, and when they were come into the city, behold, Samuel came out against them, for to go up to the high place. Now the Lord had told Samuel in his ear, a day before Saul came, saying, Tomorrow, about this time, I will send thee a man out of the land of Benjamin, and thou shalt anoint him to be captain over my people Israel, that he may save my people out of the hand of the Philistines. For I have looked upon my people, because their cry is come unto me. And when Samuel saw Saul, the Lord said unto him, Behold the man who I spake to thee of, this same shall reign over my people. Then Saul drew near to Samuel in the gate, and said, Tell me, I pray thee, where the seer's house is. And Samuel answered Saul, and said, I am this seer. Go up before me unto the high place, for ye shall eat with me to-day, and to-morrow I will let thee go, and will tell thee all that is in thine heart. And as for thine asses that were lost three days ago, set not thy mind on them, for they are found. And on whom is all the desire of Israel? Is it not on thee, and on all thy father's house? And Saul answered, and said, Am I not a Benjamite of the smallest of the tribes of Israel? And my family the least of all the families of the tribe of Benjamin? Wherefore then speakest thou so to me? And Samuel took Saul and his servant, and brought them into the parlour, and made them sit in the chiefest place among them that were bidden, which were about thirty persons. And Samuel said unto the cook, Bring the portion which I gave thee, of which I said unto thee, set it by thee. And the cook took up the shoulder, and that which was upon it, and set it before Saul. And Samuel said, Behold that which is left, set it before thee, and eat. For unto this time hath it been kept for thee, since I said, I have invited the people. So Saul did eat with Samuel that day. And when they were come down from the high place into the city, Samuel communed with Saul upon the top of the house. And they arose early, and it came to pass about the spring of the day that Samuel called Saul to the top of the house, saying, Up, that I may send thee away. And Saul arose, and they went out both of them, he and Samuel, abroad. And as they were going down to the end of the city, Samuel said to Saul, Bid the servant pass on before us. And he passed on. But stand thou still a while, that I may show thee the word of God. Then Samuel took a vial of oil, and poured it upon his head, and kissed him, and said, Is it not because the Lord hath anointed thee to be captain over his inheritance? When thou art departed from me to-day, then thou shalt find two men by Rachel's sepulchre in the border of Benjamin at Zelzah, and they will say unto thee, The asses which thou wentest to seek are found, and, lo, thy father hath left the care of the asses, and sorroweth for you, saying, What shall I do for my son? Then thou shalt go on forward from thence, and thou shalt come to the plain of Tabor, and there shall meet thee three men going up to God to Bethel, one carrying three kids, and another carrying three loaves of bread, and another carrying a bottle of wine, and they will salute thee, and give thee two loaves of bread, which thou shalt receive of their hands. After that thou shalt come to the hill of God, where is the garrison of the Philistines, and it shall come to pass, 
when thou art come thither to the city that thou shalt meet a company of prophets coming down from the high place with a psaltery and a tabret and a pipe and a harp before them and they shall prophesy and the spirit of the lord will come upon thee and thou shalt prophesy with them and shalt be turned into another man and let it be when these signs are come unto thee that thou do as occasion serve thee for god is with thee and thou shalt go down before me to gilgal and behold i will come down unto thee to offer burnt offerings and to sacrifice sacrifices of peace offerings seven days shalt thou tarry till i come to thee and show thee what thou shalt do and it was so that when he had turned his back to go from samuel god gave him another heart and all those signs came to pass that day and when they came thither to the hill behold a company of prophets met him and the spirit of god came upon him and he prophesied among them and it came to pass when all that knew him before time saw that behold he prophesied among the prophets then the people said one to another what is this that is come unto the son of kish is saul also among the prophets and one of the same place answered and said but who is their father therefore it became a proverb is saul also among the prophets and when he had made an end of prophesying he came to the high place and saul's uncle said unto him and to his servant whither went ye and he said to seek the asses and when we saw that they were nowhere we came to samuel and saul's uncle said tell me i pray thee what samuel said unto you and saul said unto his uncle he told us plainly that the asses were found but of the matter of the kingdom whereof samuel spake he told him not and samuel called the people together unto the lord to mizpah and he said unto the children of israel thus saith the lord god of israel i brought up israel out of egypt and delivered you out of the hand of the egyptians and out of the hand of all kingdoms and of them that oppressed you and ye have this day rejected your god who himself saved you out of all your adversities and your tribulations and ye have said unto him nay but set a king over us now therefore present yourselves before the lord by your tribes and by your thousands and when samuel had caused all the tribes of israel to come near the tribe of benjamin was taken and when he had caused the tribe of benjamin to come near by their families the family of matri was taken and saul the son of kish was taken and when they sought him he could not be found therefore they inquired of the lord further if the man should yet come thither and the lord answered behold he hath hid himself among the stuff and they ran and fetched him thence and when he stood among the people he was higher than any of the people from his shoulders and upward and samuel said to all the people see ye him whom the lord hath chosen that there is none like him among all the people and all the people shouted and said god save the king then samuel told the people the manner of the kingdom and wrote it in a book and laid it up before the lord and samuel sent all the people away every man to his house and saul went home to gibeah and there went with him a band of men whose hearts god had touched but the children of belial said how shall this man save us and they despised him and brought no presents but he held his peace then nahash the ammonite came up and encamped against jabesh gilead and all the men of jabesh said unto nahash make a covenant with us and we will serve thee and nahash the ammonite answered them on this condition will i make a covenant with you that i may thrust out all your right eyes and lay it for a reproach upon all israel and the elders of jabesh said unto him give us seven days respite that we may send messengers unto all the coasts of israel and then if there be no man to save us we will come out to thee then came the messengers to gibeah of saul and told the tidings in the ears of the people and all the people lifted up their voices and wept and behold saul came after the herd out of the field and saul said what aileth the people that they weep and they told him the tidings of the men of jabesh and the spirit of god came upon saul when he heard these tidings and his anger was kindled greatly and he took a yoke of oxen and hewed them in pieces and sent them throughout all the coasts of israel by the hands of messengers saying whoso cometh not forth after saul and after samuel so shall it be done unto his oxen and the fear of the lord fell on the people and they came out with one consent and when he numbered them in bezek the children of israel were three hundred thousand and the men of judah thirty thousand 
and they said unto the messengers that came thus shall ye say unto the men of jabesh gilead to-morrow by that time the sun be hot ye shall have help and the messengers came and showed it to the men of jabesh and they were glad therefore the men of jabesh said to-morrow we will come out unto you and ye shall do with us all that seemeth good unto you and it was so on the morrow that saul put the people in three companies and they came into the midst of the host in the morning watch and slew the ammonites until the heat of the day and it came to pass that they which remained were scattered so that two of them were not left together and the people said unto samuel who is he that said shall saul reign over us bring the men that we may put them to death and saul said there shall not a man be put to death this day for to-day the lord hath wrought salvation in israel then said samuel to the people come and let us go to gilgal and renew the kingdom there and all the people went to gilgal and there they made saul king before the lord in gilgal and there they sacrificed sacrifices of peace offerings before the lord and there saul and all the men of israel rejoiced greatly end of section twelve